In Qing Dynasty, if the emperor inherited the throne when he was a little kid, he usually married at about fourteen. Then he could personally manage the court. The emperor Guangxu inherited the throne when he was three years old. The court was managed by two emperor's daughters, Ci An and Ci Xi. In eighteen eighty one, the emperor's daughter Ci An passed suddenly passed away. Ci Xi became the only ruler of the country. Ci Xi really enjoyed her life as the ruler, so she tried her best to delay Guangxu's marriage. When Guangxu was seventeen years old, is too old to keep single. Ci Xi finally agreed to choose an empress for him. After several round elections, five girls won to the last round. Girl number one was Ye Hanala Jingfen. Her father was Ci Xi's little brother, because. Guang Xu's biological mother was Ci Xi's little sister, so Jing Fen actually was Guang Xu's cousin. From the picture and the historical documents, we are hundred percent sure she wasn't pretty. Jing Fen was three years older than Guang Xu, so when she joined the imperial election event. She was twenty-one years old. Girl number two and number three were sisters. They were from Fu Cha Shi. Those two girls were really pretty and well educated. Girl number four and number five also were sisters. They were from Ta Ta La Shi. If you were the Emperor Guangxu, you will choose which one. The election was held in Ti He Dian. Guang Xu could choose one empress and two concubines from those five candidates. On the election day, five candidates stood side by side. The girl who got Ru Yi would become the empress. Two girls who got He Bao would become the concubines. Another two. Who lost in the election would got some money and come back to home. As usual, Guang Xu asked Ci Xi to make decision on the emperor's election, but this time Ci Xi told Guang Xu to choose a girl he liked. Actually, Ci Xi just said, but Guang Xu thought she mean it. So he quickly moved towards the most beautiful girl, Fu Cha Shi. Then he heard Ci Xi yelled, "Your Majesty!" Guang Xu immediately stopped and looked at Ci Xi. Ci Xi implied him to choose Jing Fen. So Guang Xu had to give Ru Yi to his cousin. Ci Xi worried Guang Xu would ignore the empress for beauties, so she gave Fu Cha's sister some money and let them go home. Eventually, Ye He Na La Jing Fen became the empress. Ta Ta La's sisters became the noble lady Zhen and the noble lady Jing Jin. I don't know whether the Fu Cha sisters felt sad and cried for their loss in Guang Xu's empress election, but as a person knows what happened among Guang Xu and his three imperial women, I can say the Fu Cha sisters were really lucky. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.